We'll look now at situations in which you can add and subtract and talk about when you can multiply and divide matrices. This is not something that's covered in great detail in the CLEP, but we'll give some sort of allusions to what's going on. So the first situation is when can I add and subtract matrices? And the key rule is they have to be the same size. So i.e. same number of rows and they have to have the same number of columns. If they don't, then uh, I think it's pretty unnatural to try and add or subtract them because there'll be entries that you don't know what to do with in one of the matrices. You can also multiply them by single numbers uh, in something called scalar multiplication. For example, I can multiply the number 2 by the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 and just change this to 2 times 1, uh, 2 times 0, 0 times 2 times 0, and 2 times 1 to just get 2, 0, 0, 2. Right, so this, when I just take every entry of a matrix and multiply it by the same number, this is what's called scalar multiplication. So I'll make a note that multiplying and dividing matrices is, very, is possible uh, in certain cases and is a very interesting topic in mathematics, but is not covered on the CLEP. So this is just not something that uh, we talk about. So let's look at an example of just adding and subtracting matrices and, and looking at scalar multiplication. So here I have the matrix 1 minus 2, 0 minus 1. They want to I want to subtract 2 times the matrix, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 1. So what I'll do is I'll first apply the scalar multiplication here. Say this is plus 4, minus 2, 0, and 2 just by distributing the scalar minus 2 to every element. Oops. And now I will add the matrices. So I get 5, minus 4, 0, and 1 by adding each component of the matrix. So what I mean is that the 1 here goes with the 4 here to give me 5, minus 2, minus 2 gives me 4, and then the same with the second row. So here's an example of, of vectors where, again, I will first apply the scalar multiplication to get 6, 12, 0, 3, 3, minus 3, and then I can add them coordinate-wise, so 9, 15, and negative 3. So again, to do this final addition, I just took 6, 3 to get 9, 12, 3 to get 15, and 0, minus 3, to get that minus 3 there. So I think once you know that the matrices or the vectors are the right size and you can add them together, you just add or subtract in each coordinate and I think it's, it's fairly straightforward.